Good. All right. So, um, yeah, we're here this morning at the Wellness Way Greenville with uh, James and Beth. And um, just uh, trying this new approach, what, what are some of the things that have changed with your body? Well, I'm sure that you have a list that we've previously gone over that's, that we've come up with. Uh, weight loss just goes along with the program. If mm -hmm. you adhere to the program, there's going to be a certain amount of weight loss, and I guess mm -hmm. it fluctuates person to person. But along with the weight loss comes a feeling of feeling more um, healthy mm -hmm. with it. It's just not a weight loss that is just weight loss. It is a loss of what's not good goes away, and what comes into your body, you feel good about it. Mm -hmm. And your body feels good about it. And I can say that all of the issues that I walked in the door with, I'm not saying that I'm leaving and leaving them all behind, mm -hmm. but significantly, there's a lot less attributing to my arthritis pain, uh, uh, my feeling of having more energy, mm -hmm. although that does fluctuate here or there, you know, daily. I mean, depends uh, how physically hard I'm working. But, um, and I would say my desire for bad foods are really abating, which if you stick with the protocol, your desire tends to go towards what your body really desires and needs. Nice. That's good. But there's a downside to this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it, what it is, is it's a desirable commitment that one has to make. Mm -hmm. You don't walk in here and you get a magic pill. It is something that you have to really feel that you want to do for yourself. Now, this is something that they help you with, but it is really something that you're doing for yourself. And so if you're not on track with helping yourself, then no one's going to help you. Right. So I think that is a huge factor, that, and it's a, and it's a huge commitment of getting your getting your brain wrapped around this whole life change, mm -hmm. uh, the financial commitment, everything. It, you know, as my old dad used to say, you don't get something for nothing. There's always something you have to give to get. And I think that um, uh, really getting into this is, is once you get your, your mindset with it, the body just falls right in track. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I, other than I, I, I'm, I have absolutely no feeling that I, uh, I totally feel I'm so glad that I've done this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know much else that I can tell people other than, um, hey, get your feet wet and come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and Beth, what, what are some of the things that have changed with, with you? I think the biggest thing for me is the um, increased energy. Mm -hmm. um, it's made me uh, just feel better every day about getting out of bed, um, feel healthier. Um, we've both lost a little weight, like he said, which feels better. You feel better about yourself. And we didn't even come in for that specifically, um, but it it's, makes an improvement. And I think the one of the biggest things for him was his arthritis was so bad he was taking 200 milligrams of tramadol a day just to maintain. Well, now he's down to 50 milligrams of tramadol a day, which is a huge decrease, and he's, he's doing better than he was on a lot of medications. Um, and for me, I'm uh, the energy is the biggest thing. I had palpitations a lot. 
um, increasingly at work, and those have probably gone 90% away, um, which makes me feel way better about the heart issue. <laughs> and um, I, think, I, I think he's right. It's a big commitment. It's totally worth it. We're very glad we've done it. Um, and I think our lifestyle now has changed to the point where we're very aware of gluten and we don't do hardly any gluten, which is a huge, huge deal for us. And um, some other things like wine and chocolate and those things that I loved, which I still love, but we do in way less amounts, which is much healthier and we feel better. Well, dear, you got to figure it out that a 20 year old would die for, honey. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah, like, so there's been a lot of size uh, loss and, or, and, and weight. And Just, yeah, inflammation loss. Yeah. And you can wear those cutie little clothes you used to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still on camera? <laughs> totally. Yeah, this is as real as it gets. This is cool right? and real. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, like, what would your life be like if, if, like, you guys didn't do this before? Like, if if you would have not taken the effort to uh, rebuild your immune systems and and start dealing with some of the inflammation? I mean, it it's uh, would you would you refer or like have other people um, do this program? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would refer other people and have referred other people. I think the biggest thing is people have a hard time giving up stuff. Mm -hmm. We were just ready to make a change, and it was just excellent timing, basically, for us. Um, but, yeah, I would definitely refer people just because of the way you feel. You just feel so much better, and you feel better about yourself. So that makes a big difference. Well, I think it's similar to somebody who has an addiction. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it doesn't have to be like a drug or alcohol addiction. Food is probably one of the biggest addictions that are out there. Mm -hmm. And so you have to come to terms that in an addiction, there are certain things you're going to have to give up to feel the way that you want to feel. And... You know, it's just, you don't get something for nothing again. I mean, there, when you want to get up and get that other Krispy Kreme donut, <laughs> you're going to have to just throw it in the garbage. <laughs> well, and actually, without this program, to answer your other part of your question, was you probably would have been looking at another total knee. Pardon? Because you were having trouble with your other... Maybe. Needs. I was looking... I'm always one to look for alternative. I was, and that's probably one of the reasons why we wound up here is the... Um, I don't have a whole lot of desire for allopathic medicine anymore. I, I, it's just a, a symptomatic healing, and I don't feel that it uh, goes to healing the core of the problems anymore. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, and allopathic medicine just goes from one symptom to the next one and the next one and then the next one, and they just have you all wrapped up and you, you never wind up actually really getting healed, I don't believe, anymore. Well, you're managing symptoms rather than right. the core issue. Yeah, that's a huge, <clears throat> that's a huge distinction versus like getting to the root cause of the inflammation, and uh, and that is uh, what I believe the future, uh, where the future of healthcare is yeah. is actually going for families. But it's too bad it's moving so slow. Yeah, it is too bad. You know, and, and I think this mm -hmm. is just the awareness of the public out there that. They're still being bamboozled by the regular doctors. Well, and the doctors don't want to get out of their comfort zone to adopt what is out there now. And it's a shame. Well, changes are hard to do. True. Yeah, change comes slow. 
change can be very slow. But that's what life is all about is change. Yep. I mean, you can't stop change. I mean, the, there's, you know, there's nothing continuous in the world except change. Mm -hmm. It's all how you deal with it. And Definitely. embrace it. <clears throat> so, yeah, we really appreciate appreciate you guys. Your, uh, we appreciate the privilege to uh, teach and show you uh, a more natural way and understanding of the body. And, um, you know, if there's... Um, Please like and share uh, this video because I know there's a lot of, uh, and that's fine. You, know, you can just turn it over there. That's fine. Yeah. The Just please like and share the video because there's usually somebody who's looking for a new approach, an alternative to uh, uh, get to more root cause and just not manage uh, symptoms. So I think that's that's where the hope of uh, this approach is at. So, I think one thing that um, when people get into this, after a short while, they may start to feel because sometimes you, some things do start happening happening immediately, but I think a lot of people it's just like taking the magic pill. After you take the pill, changes happen right after that. And this is a process, and that's what people need to realize mm -hmm. and understand that this is all of the additives and, and the good the goodies that you're going to be taking. As soon as you take them, doesn't mean that the next day you're going to walk on water. You know, <laughs> it, it's a process, mm -hmm. and you have to have patience in a process. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's you got to give the body time to get its edge back. Yeah. And and to know. get momentum to go down a different path than currently where you're at. And so healing takes time and it takes repetition. Mm -hmm. Yep. And only so, band-aid healing happens immediately, but it's not long term. It's only mm -hmm. for the moment. Amen. All right. That's great. Please like and share the video and thanks for being with us today.